Yo, what is going on, everyone? My name is Necro, the Notorious Fantasy, and welcome into episode numero two of Budget Ballers. Me and Ravi giving you guys our NBA picks for the day. Last week, or last week, two days ago, I went 4-0. Ravi did just about all right. So, you know, yeah, it, 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 it is rough. what it is. It was rough. <laughs> it is what it is. You know, we're back and we're better than ever. Every single time, we're going to get better. Continue to watch and make sure that if you do end up enjoying this, please send it to your friends. They will enjoy it. And if you guys want more NBA content, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. There will also be NFL content, obviously. But since there's no NFL season anywhere near now, uh, it's more fun to talk about basketball at this point. So, you got anything to say, Ravi, before we get into this? Um, last week was rough for me. I'm not going to lie, but we're hoping for the bounce back. <laughs> exactly. I need a huge bounce back today. So we got the whole Mavs team getting benched in the fourth quarter really threw me off there, but it's fine. Right. <laughs> yeah. No, why would you, why would you play them? You don't need them. All right. So first pick I'll begin today with the same pick. I took a few days ago. Hornets at Grizzlies LaMelo over 17 and a half points. Prop has hit over five, five and oh, right now when LaMelo is starting, I do think the Grizzlies are not a terrible team, but LaMelo just seems to be off his rocker, just balling out. And I just genuinely don't think that uh, he's going to miss here up against the Grizzlies. Uh, I just don't think they're a good enough defensive team to be able to stop LaMelo. And LaMelo is just going to continue to put up very big numbers until this number moves over 17 and a half. It was 17 and a half last time. Uh, the books are going to have to adjust to probably learning. 19 and a half. They're not learning. They're a little too slow. And we're super sharp here. 17 and a half for LaMelo. Uh, I just generally don't see how this could miss unless they just bench him or something. Yeah, no, I'm also taking the Hornets plus two and a half over the Grizzlies because... I mean, the Grizzlies are, like, good, but they were missing so many players this year, and they're, they honestly don't look as good as last year. So I would definitely take Hornets over the Grizzlies here. Yeah, the Hornets are looking much better uh, now that they they've been using really LaMelo good. a lot more. So very different compared to last year. The Hornets were a complete dumpster fire last season. Yeah, it's true. All right. What's your next pick here since you already gave your um, uh, Hornets My pick? next pick, staying with the ball bros here, I'm going Pelicans minus 2.5 over the Bulls. Um, Zion honestly has honestly surprised me this year. He's going absolutely nuts. Apparently no one wants to talk about it, though, because it's all about LaMelo now. <laughs> so we slide under there. We take the Pelicans minus 2.5 over the Bulls. So the Bulls are just not they're just not that great this year, like last year, too. But it's fine. Yeah, They'll I have to. Eventually. I have to agree. I, I got Pelicans money line minus 136. Pelicans are on a four game win streak. The Bulls have just won one of their last four games, which, folks, that's not very good at all. Yeah. Uh, the Bulls, not so hot. The Pelicans have been on fire. Even Lonzo uh, is playing pretty good. Like you said, Zion, right. no one's even talking about Zion at all, which is very weird. It's insane. Said. Like, on, uh, and they still got Brandon Ingram. It's crazy. It, yeah, like on Instagram last year, even though he wasn't even playing that great, that's all you'd see. You'd see Zion, yeah. this, Zion, that. Now he's just completely silent. Or not, he's not silent. He's playing very well. But uh, Twitter, Instagram, they're all silent. But yeah, I really like the Pelicans of this game. The balls just do not seem very good at all. I read something yeah. that, uh, no, never mind. I, it was something different. Apparently, DeRozan is going to end up, not DeRozan. Fuck, what's his name? D Rose is going to get traded to the Knicks, is what I read. Which Yeah, he no did get traded to the Knicks. He did? Yeah, he just wow. got traded yesterday. It was pretty crazy. Wow. I was I was going to say that he got traded from the Bulls, but he hasn't been on the Bulls in years. So that was yeah. my... Uh... He's back with his coach, though. So, you know, back with Tib. Ooh, love that. We'll All right. <laughs> my next pick here. I got the OKC at Lakers. I like Dennis Schroeder over 15 and a half. Uh, it seems like Anthony Davis, the brow, is going to be out yet again. Schroeder's over prop has hit at least the 15 and a half. has hit four of four times in the last four games. Four for four, like he's at Wendy's. I love Dennis Schroeder. Uh, LeBron has been playing all right. He just barely hit his overprop in the last game. And Schroeder at 15 and a half just seems way too low considering he's been dropping 19 yeah. or 20 pretty much every single game, uh, at least of recent. So I really do like Schroeder. Uh, Oklahoma City Thunder is a s- decent team, I would say, but uh, I right. do think Schroeder will be able to shoot pretty easily on him. I'm surprised they even took him to OT last time, like two yeah. days ago. That was pretty surprising. Well, that's because of a stupid foul. They fouled. Oh, uh, yeah. SGA. The three and he like yeah. jumped into it. It was pretty, pretty stupid. But yeah. They always call those. Yeah, that's like one of the worst rules in the NBA, but I don't even think they can change it. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, my next pick is Lou Will over 14 and a half points versus the Timberwolves because I think Paul George is out again. I'm pretty sure he missed the whole road trip. And Lou Will is obviously the second option there. So I don't see how he wouldn't get over 14 and a half points. So I would definitely take that one. Yeah, I like Lou Will a lot. There's yeah. not too much to say about that one, to be honest with you. Lou Will has been playing pretty decent. Yeah. 
<clears throat> my next pick here, Hawks at Mavs over 232 and a half. Now the number seems a little bit high, but Trey Young and the boys and the Hawks have been playing pretty decent as of recently. They had a game. I don't remember who it was against, but they only scored like 90 points a couple of games ago. But besides that, they've been on a complete roll up against the Jazz. They only scored 91, but against the Raptors uh, last game, they got 132, 99 against the Lakers, 116 against the Mavericks. So I just feel like they're a pretty decent squad. And as yeah. long as the Mavericks continue to score and they don't just bench half their team we should be good here <laughs> yeah for sure <laughs> <laughs> um my last pick is sabonis over 23 and a half points versus the nets um i love the nets but their defense is simply just not up to par at all especially when they're guarding big men and yeah. sabonis has been actually doing pretty well this year and i think the 23 and a half would hit because the nets simply can't just play defense i don't know what's going on there they got to figure that out yeah, the Nets are a team that should be able to win the East, but I mean, if they yeah. can't play defense, they're gonna struggle a lot against Giannis, maybe. You know? Yeah, no, it's interesting because they only. Yeah, dude. Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. Giannis, Giannis is gonna just go crazy. dumpster him. <laughs> but see, the thing is, they they play defense when they want to. That's the worst part. That's like the worst thing as like a team you could do. So I don't know. Hopefully, maybe they'll play defense today. I hope not because I want the Sabonis over twenty three and a half. So I guess we'll see. All right. Uh, my final pick of the day, Cavs at Nuggets. I like Colin Sexton over 21 and a half. I expect the Nuggets to be up a lot in this game, which would mean that the Cavs are going to be shooting later into the game. Sexton is wet like water as of recently, has been yeah. really good uh, compared to how he's played in the past. So I do like Sexton a lot in this one. And I just hope that they don't, the Nuggets don't murder them to where they pull Sexton because we do see that in some games where a team's getting murdered and they pull their star players. So hopefully Sexton, yeah. the only good player on the Cavs, does something. Sexton's also a dog, so if they're down a lot, I think he's going to keep trying his hardest to keep scoring, so that's a very good pick, honestly. Yeah, and uh, I'm pretty, pretty sure it hasn't even hit. Re his over has not been hitting recently, even though he's been playing pretty well. Wow. All right. Well, we'll see. We shall see. That's why I didn't bring up the stat, because if the stat is negative against my claim, I don't bring it up. There's no need, no need <laughs> to, to put up the fact that he's like one in three in the last couple of games, you know? No need to bring that up. All that matters is this game. <laughs> that's exactly. the only thing that matters. Exactly. That's what you guys got to figure out. So you got anything else to add here before we head on out? Um, no, I would kind of look out for Porzingis over 20 and a half versus the Hawks. Last game, he did really well against, um, I don't remember who the Mavs were playing, actually. Oh, the Timberwolves. He actually did do really well. And the Hawks, like, they kind of can guard big, but not, like, that well. So I would say Porzingis could get over 20 and a half points. All right. Tingus Pingus. Put him on the yep, board. Tingus. <laughs> Who the fuck is Tingus Who Pingus? Who the fuck is Tingus Pingus? <laughs> That's an all-time internet clip right there. That, that one's not as good as the death laser pointed at Earth. I want the Guadala. <laughs> I want the Guadala. I want the That's a great clip. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully we can make some good clips like uh, Stephen A. Smith on this show. So have a great rest of your guys' day. Make sure you leave yep. that subscribe button down below. Don't leave it, actually. You want to go ahead and caress it and press it, you know? <laughs> Get a little bit of a tease. We wet. need some names in the comments, too. We need a name for this show. Yeah, we need some names. People are giving us some like good names. We're not a bunch names. of ballers here. Exactly. Bunch of ballers. We need, we're just going to give it a new name every episode. Fuck it. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> we need some names with dollar signs in it. Someone left a nice name with a dollar sign in it. That's fire. We so, like that. Uh, <laughs> like those. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys check out me on Twitter. Ravi, again, unanim unanimous, anonymous on Twitter. You know, doesn't have a Twitter. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. You never know. How are you guys? <laughs> If you never ask, you'll never know. Have a great rest of your guys' day. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>